Hey, Lamar, that was above and beyond, homie. Ain't nothing above and beyond when it comes to the homies, homie. <laughs> A nigga just want to be helpful, you heard me? I'm serious, dawg. That's hood. Mike going Trevor, too. We grateful. You a real homie, and I love you, dawg. You too, homie. You done with this bullshit now? Almost. A couple loose ends. Aw, oh, shit. I know that voice. You creeping on some fools, huh? All right, nigga, we'll handle your candle. Lay low, my nigga. Hey, the old man's here. He's leaving the beast club. I'm gonna do it now. That was him. Hey, I got out clean. You dudes ain't gonna have no more triads coming after me. We ain't gonna have anyone to sell super weapons to either, but hey ho! Who's up? We still gotta do stretch and agent hate. See if you can patch me into his radio mic. I want a last reminder of what an annoying prick he is. And reality. Oh my god! Guy! This thing has shot him! Lester, I dealt with Haynes. You got a location on Devin Weston yet? Yeah, yeah, I do. Uh, the Merriweather team was dispatched to protect him at his house in the Tongva Hills. Uh, I say house, it's more of a... Yeah, 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 yeah. whatever. I'll go up there and get him. So what we got, man? Harold Stretch Joseph. Still outstanding. I'm taking care of him.
Hey man, he got stretched, man. Roll on his ass. Stretch? He ain't a problem no more, Frank. Shit, he wasn't my pal. He was a dude who ganked us, homie. Thanks. So who we got, man? I'm picking up Devin Weston so we can have some uh, fun with him. Now don't worry, I won't get started till we're all together. Not properly, at least. Hey, unless you got news from the Foundry team, I don't want to be disturbed. We got a cop set! Protect DW! Defend like humans, but I know you're a reptile! Let's go on our paychecks! Protect DW! What a pansy! I'm getting kinda bored of killing you, Brett! Ooh, we're receiving fire! Come out! I'm a walking combat situation, assholes! Right out fire! DW is the priority! Take that shit head down! Where are ya? Got Mr. Weston. Let's take him out of the city, make him disappear. Meet me on the cliffs off the GOH, Chiliad Mountain State Wilderness. Where am I? What happened? 
You, you don't know what you're getting into, pal! Pipe down! Well, guys, any past those trained killers. I need someone like you in my organization. The CEO position's gonna be vacant real soon, Slick. I've got nothing against you, apart from the obvious hygiene issues. Michael caused me problems, so Michael had to go. You're looking at it rationally. There are people who are useful to you and people who ain't, and the people who ain't gotta go. Me, I'm not rational. I don't care if you're useful or not. I feel like taking you out, Devo. So that's what I'm doing. This is a serious offer. Work for me. You'll have everything you'll ever wanted. All I've ever wanted is to watch you drift in and out of consciousness as you're slowly disemboweled. Yes! Yes! That's the kind of creativity I need on my team. Come on! Come on! Let me out of here! Look! I got my own company, Trevor Phillips Industries. Oh, yeah, a fellow entrepreneur. Let me buy a steak and give you money to grow. I don't know if you heard, but I'm kind of gold rich right now, so you got precisely nothing to offer. Prepare for the end, my friend. I wouldn't kill you. I didn't say anything about cutting your tongue out. I'm getting out of here, and I'm coming for you! My friends won't be happy if I empty a clip into the trunk. Slick, with a few minutes for some one-on-one -on -one time. Tea? Never better, amigo. Uh, Franklin? I'll be here. <laughs> Franklin. Hey, right, what's up? I assume you got him? Ooh, safe and sound. Oh. Ain't that right, buddy? <laughs> hey, my bad, homie. I picked C. Ain't that a bitch? You know, Devin, the way I see it, and hey, I'm no intelligent businessman like you, but the way I see it, there's two great evils that bedevil American capitalism, the type that you practice. Number one is outsourcing. You paid a private company to do your dirty work for you, and then you underpaid that company because you thought you were big enough and bad enough that you didn't have to play by the rules. Oh, number two, offshoring your profits. Offshoring? Oh, it's horrible. 
You wouldn't want to be sent offshore just to save a little money, would you, T? Oh, no, Franklin? I wouldn't. Oh, no, I ain't would going nowhere. No, see, but we know your opinions on the matter, Devin. Keep your problems the fuck out of America, huh? <laughs> In this instance, when he puts it like that, it makes sense. Of course it does. Hey, Devin, goodbye, my old friend. Thanks for all the advice. Bye-bye. Now what? Now we keep a low profile and get on with our lives. As friends. Well, do I have a choice? No, not really. All right, then. As uh, flawed, awful, totally uncomfortable, and poorly matched friends. Absolutely. Oh, that's perfect. Then we can get back to the kind of capitalism we practice. Shit, I don't know how much more better that is than Devin's con. Ooh, hypocrisy, Franklin. Civilization's greatest virtue. Jesus, your therapist has a lot to answer for. I know, I still hate myself. But hey, at least I know the words for it now. Yeah, but I hate you, and I know the words for it. So does that mean I don't have to go to therapy? Look, man, you two motherfuckers terrify me of that middle age. I'm good. You're right to be afraid, Franklin. Yeah. Be very afraid, Franklin. <laughs> Tell you one thing, T. I'm getting too old for this nonsense. Oh.